Well, it's one for the money, two for the show. Three to get ready now, go, cat, go. Just don't you step on my blue suede shoe. Well, you can do anything, stay off of my blue suede shoe. Well, you can knock me down, step on my face, slander my name all over the place. Do anything that you wanna do. Uh huh, honey, lay off of them shoes, and don't you. Step on my blue suede shoes Well you can do anything But stay off of my blue suede shoes Hey, how you doing? Justin here with a bit of Elvis action for you, a bit of the, the old blue suede shoes. This is a really, really cool, fun song, and there's a few kind of things that you, a few ways of approaching the playing the tune. You can either keep it really, really simple with quite easy kind of strumming, or you can get into doing a bit more of this starty, stoppy stuff, and there's even some accent passages that you can use on it. So. It, it, it's a real grower this one. You can start real simple if you're a real beginner and then kind of let the song grow with you as you learn more techniques. So starting off real, real simple of course. Now this one's mostly going to be using dominant chords. So you're going to need your A7, D7 and E7 chords. Would be possible to simplify it to just use regular A, D and E if you wanted to, but the dominant seventh chords, not particularly, well, no harder really. In fact, some of them are kind of easier. So um, the A7, probably just want to be playing like a regular A chord lift off first finger, right? Piece of cake. To get to a D7, you just want to move second and third fingers down and put the first finger in the first fret of the second string. Okay, it's again, really, really nice one. Getting to the E chord, E7 chord rather, is exactly the same as an E chord but without the third finger. Again, very, very easy, not something to be scared of at all. So make sure you got to grips with your uh, basic A7, D7 and E7 chord grips. Now, Let's start with the easy four down strums to the bar thing, okay? So we're starting off with the A7. Well, it's one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready now, go cap, go to D7 for two bars, step on my blue suede, A7 for two bars, one. Well, you can E7 for two bars, but don't stay off of my blue suede, A7 for two bars. Now we've got eight bars, we can knock me down of A7 and step on my face, slamming my name all over the place. Do anything that you want to do, but I honey lay off of them shoes. To the chorus which is D7 for two bars Step on my blue suede A7 for two bars Well you can E7 anything But lay off of my blue suede A7 for two bars So let me go through and explain what's going on there. So the verse itself is generally eight bars of A7, okay, which kind of gets a little bit boring if you're not doing the little thing, but that's also a little bit tricky. So if you're a real beginner, just be happy to do your four down strums. You can still play along with the original recording and just be playing four down strums to the bar, staying on A7 for eight bars, okay? The intro verse, the very first verse is a little bit shorter. I think it's just four bars, in fact. So four bars of A7. I'm going to talk a bit, a bit more about that very first verse because it's a little bit different if you're wanting to play it a, a, just like the original kind of thing. Um, the chorus is two bars of D7, two bars of A7, two bars of E7, two bars of A7. That's it. Okay? So D7 for two, A7 for two, E7 for two, A7 for two. Total of eight bars. Okay? That's the chorus. So it's really the song is alternating between those two things. We do have a solo though. Looking at the solo now is a 12 bar blues form, a simplified 12 bar blues form in the solo. If you want to play rhythm guitar behind the solo, for behind the great Scotty Moore, I think, playing the solo on this one. Um, and there's, so the chords for the solo section would be four bars of A7, two bars of D, two bars of A7, two bars of E7, two bars of A7, okay? To what we call a simplified 12 bar blues form. So I'll just mention that again. Four bars of A7, two bars of D7, two bars of A7, then two bars of E7, two bars of A7 again, okay? That's a simplified 12 bar that we use underneath the solo. So let's talk about different ways that you can kind of uh, get this thing a little bit more lively. Now, um, the original recording is, is not using kind of a big strumming pattern like this. It's using very short little uh, chords to have this. 
okay which is a very very cool little pattern but way beyond beginners kind of thing but what you can do as a really nice little beginner trick is having a go at accenting those chords so if we're on the a7 okay so put down your a7 chord and you want to strum evenly down up down up down up down up so one and two and three and four and kind of soft so start with that going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four okay that would be step one now what we want to be doing is putting accents in, okay? And the accents would be the and after one and beat three and then beat one and the and after two in the second bar. So we end up with this one and two, three, four, one, two and three, four, one and two, three, four, one, two and three, four, one. Really, really fun idea of practicing getting used to doing those accent things. It's a little bit beyond kind of beginner thing. Um, and if you don't want to do that, you could really choose kind of any strumming pattern that you like. But doing the even strumming pattern is not a bad little plan there. And it's kind of fun to get used to that one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. a little bit here that I'm shuffling it's not straight this should be straight one and two and three and four I'm going one and two and three and four it's got a little bit of that kind of shuffle feeling okay it's something we're going to talk a little bit later in the beginners course of of playing a proper shuffle shuffle feel but it's definitely something that you uh, if you're listening to a lot of Elvis or you're familiar with that sort of music you know you'll probably have a natural feel for putting the shuffle in because it, it, it's very much that style okay but be aware that it's not uh, one and two and three and four and it's one and two and three and four and Okay, the up strums are just a little bit late. You could think of it like that. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. It's just a, it kind of makes it a little, makes it danceable. I think there's something about those particular tunes of that ear and that sort of swing feeling that made everyone kind of get into it and dance. So if you want to get into adding the stops, now the stops are very cool. This one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. Okay, what's going on? We're playing on beat one, and then we're using our outside part of our hand to mute all of the strings. One, two, three, and four. One, two. Okay, and after that, we've got an up strum on the and after three, and a down strum on beat four. So one, two, three, and four. 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 Down. Mute. Up, down, down, mute. Up, down, down, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three. So, what's happening there, right at the very, very beginning of the song, uh, there's, there's no chord. So, it's, well, there's one for the money, two for the show. Need to get ready now, go, go, go. So he's doing the riff only twice. It's, it's, it's played more often in the verses. So I, I need to give you the puzzle pieces and you need to listen to the original recording if you want to play it exactly like the record, okay? It's very, very difficult to try and explain exactly how many of each one to do in, at what point in the song. Much easier to learn it by listening. But as long as you've got that idea of one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, practice speeding it up. Okay, and then the little build is normally one and two and three and four and miss up down up down up down up miss up down up down up down. Okay, and there's normally a little bit of a gap before it as well. So you have this. Well, it's one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready now, one and two and three and four and. And then you're into strumming. The first two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, 
Very, very cool tune this one. I'm sure you're going to enjoy playing it. So the things to think about really is just starting off really, really simple, making sure you can get the chord changes. Then if you want to have a little bit of a muck around with the accent thing, because that sounds really cool, I think, in the, in the, uh, the, in the choruses. Uh, and then for the verses, you've got that stop. And it's a, it is a really effective kind of a technique. If you're into this style of music, this kind of early rock and roll thing, that's a very, very common pattern. This You'll hear it all over the place, you know, in that kind of early rock and roll. So uh, definitely very, very cool, fun song, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy playing it. And I'll see you for plenty more lessons and songs very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.